What's going on guys? Welcome back to Jay's Big Mac PC channel. I am your host Jay and I thought I'd do something a little bit differently uh, this time. I flipped the camera around just to do a quick uh, introduction so people actually know who this person really is when they're watching and listening to my videos. So I know I said that I wouldn't be making videos as often as I uh, I had originally hoped and planned for, but I got a pretty good sized haul for my Big Mac PC, and I wanted to show it to you guys, so without further ado, I'm going to flip the camera back around and we will uh, get started showing off what I got. Alright guys, so <clears throat> with, as you can see here, I do got a pretty sizable haul including one in the back with the new stuff that I had just gotten in with everything um, the PC now stands at 3,554 unique Big Mac cards I did pick up a few things from um, one of the other guys in the McGuire group who is uh, moving his entire collection and I still have some more other things coming in, but um, we're getting awful close to 3,600 unique cards. And then from there, we're going to keep going, see how see how far we could actually build this uh, this PC. Hoping hoping maybe we could hit that 4,000 mark. And then we'll see what happens. I don't know, but I'm not I'm not going to go through. I'm going to show everything, but I'm not going to uh, talk about everything that I got here. I will. Uh, mention a few things most of them are just it's you know common oddball stuff that I have filling holes in my binders so and I think maybe um, if once I hit 4,000 maybe I'll do another binder series and you know show off what the binders look like now um, I think when I did the original binders I was at uh, I think 2800 2900 maybe some something around right around in there uh, so definitely be interesting to see how the binders look now then when I hit 4000 so without further ado we'll just start flipping through some of these I will bring it in a little bit um, 86 the Modesto A's this is the uh, error McGuire has his name spelled wrong um, as a lot of people know, the actual the corrected version, a lot of fakes out there. Um, card has been made and printed and um, facsimiles and everything like that. The actual error cards are not fake at all. These are all real. And these things sell for pretty pennies. Some broder types. And all these oddball stuff, you know, back from the late, mid to late 80s. Uh, 88 Donruss, people are probably sitting there thinking, oh, well, really, you don't have an 88 Donruss? I got like 400 duplicates of 88 Donruss. But this one is the uh, variation, the missing period after the ink and leaf. <laughs> Surprisingly, out of all the ones that I have, did not have this one. 88 Opeachy stickers, red Foley stickers, um, score glossies. You know, these are actually tough to find. Um, 88 star green. This is the green glossy. So this is a limited print run. This is set number 305 of 1000. All, all 12 cards of that set. Much more of the Broders. 88 top stickers with the Wade Boggs foil. Again, you know, all of these oddball stuff is, these are very hard to come by because, you know, most player PC guys have these things and they keep them and they, you know, they, they you know, they, they don't move them too much, which is all right. Some more peachy stickers. Panini, this is the promo. So there's actually two variations to this sticker. They're the exact same, 
same number, same picture on the front. The difference is in the wording back here. This, the promo, look for Panini Baseball 89 sticker album in your local store. And then the actual one says, you know, fill your stickers by buying or purchasing packs or something like that. Uh, Tetley T-Discs, hard ones to come by. Still missing a few of those. Uh, 89, this is the Tiffany, Oakland A's team leaders. Some more top stickers. 1990 Classic Best. This is the variation, the Bo Rubin Mark. Uh, the other one, the other version is AL Fence Busters. Legend Silver. 1990 Tops Tiffany. More stickers. Uh, Ball Street Oversized. This is the 91 uh, starting lineup, but it's the black uh, wording variation. Uh, Cracker Jack panel with Wade Boggs, Ripken, McGuire, and Doug Drabeck. Uh, 92 Investors. This is the colored foil, the purple. Uh, there, there's a normal one, which uh, is like a gold foil. And then you get the purple foil. Uh, 98 Donner's Preferred 10. You see this one is numbered 865 of 999. It is empty. Except for the little foam piece inside there, but so go good with the rest of the other tens that I have. Uh, still working on a Donruss run. Uh, picked up the uh, career stat line, number to 500. Uh, the presidential, number to 50. And uh, slowly starting to pick up the uh, unleashed. This is the diamond. Uh, variation. I'm picking these things up slowly. This one here came from a very good friend of a uh, good friend of ours. This is um, Donald Blomdahl. Um, this is the 20th century's uh, sequential best, numbered out of 587 for active slugging percentage leaders. Um, if you guys remember a couple videos back, I'd picked up the home run one, and then I happened to see this on uh, Donald's eBay channel and I went after it because this was the last one for the 2020 tops that I needed or 2000 tops sorry that I needed for uh, the PC so was able to pick that up another tough one to find is the 91 711 coins now these were only distributed in um, Western California. I was able to find a, a Big Mac guy out there that uh, looking to trade it, so I picked it up. 96 Donner's Gold Press Proof. Some more Broders. Uh, 99 uh, Upper Deck Challengers for 70. This is the Challengers Edition, numbered out of 600. 97 Bowman's Best. This is the Atomic Refractor. Very nice, very shiny. 97 Fleer Glowing, or Soaring Stars. This is the Glowing Stars variation. Um, the the standard card, and you'll see the little stars there that are, that are glowing. Those don't sparkle and shine like that. Uh, Bowman Heritage Chrome. And this next one here, if you guys remember, a year ago, a little over a year ago, um, I picked up the Portrait Patch Gypsy Queen 1 of 1 Redemption, uh, sent it in, and literally took tops over a year to get it fulfilled. But it is here. You'll see right there it does say 1 of 1. Uh, John Gian Caspro was the artist. This card is just amazing. Uh, three colored patch there. Was very happy that this finally arrived. Some more oddballs, Barry Cola, a lot of Barry Cola stuff in the late in the uh, early nineties. Player's Choice Gold. 
See, there's the Investor's 92, the gold. This is the standard. Uh, this one is actually number 86. The other one was number 70. Um, but the number 70 is the same border here, gold. Then there's a purple colored, purple bordered variation. Some SC's, S, uh, Sports Card Monthly cards. Tops Magazines. Bunch of the black gold winners. Upper decks. You guys are like, I got a ton of upper decks, but these are the gold hologram variations. Red Foley's. 94 tops, but this is the Spanish edition. You'll see wording in both English and Spanish. Uh, Chris Martin Pro Magnets. Uh, cartoons. This is the Big Bang Bucks for Mark McBash. Some harder stuff to find. Uh, UC3 Artist Proof. Members Onlys. These come in complete sets Onlys. Another Pro Magnets. Uh, gold Signature Variations. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, gold Signatures from Collector's Choice. You make the make the play. Finest Intimidator. 96 starting lineup cards. Ninety six King B discs. Select certified red. Another artist proof. Power streak members only. These are uh, complete set. Uh, members only cards. Artist proof for Summit. 97 Fleer Ultra uh, Gold Medallion. Home Run Kings. Franchise features here with McGuire and Dimitri Young. This one is numbered out of 3,000. Uh, hit list Donruss, 97 Donruss Gold Press Proof. Leather and Lumber, number two of 500, Donruss Elite, Donruss Limited, and we got the counterparts here. These are the limited exposure. One is the uh, glossy, and the other one is the non-glossy. 97 King B, uh, Pacific uh, Crown Collection card supials, the standard, and then the mini. Uh, Pacific Prism, they get the light blue and the platinum, along with the, like these are the gate attractions. 97 uh, Venezuelan stickers, museum collections. SPX, this is the steel variation. I've got the silver and the, the gold. It's got a couple more to find. Uh, Stadium Club Matrix. 97 Studio Press Proof, Gold Press Proof. Uh, 98 Gallery Peter Max. Home Run King, that's a sharp looking card. Yeah, top, top 30 Gold Medallion. And 97 Tops Wheaties Box card. Twenty twenty one Donruss uh, game used relic numbered out of ninety nine the red stripe variation. Uh, I think this is ninety nine uh, upper deck amazing greats, uh, kind of like an acetate card. See right through it. Twenty twenty one. This is the iconic cloth patch cards. First. Uh, A relic from 2020, a second relic from 2021 tops. This is the gold numbered out of 50. So I now have the gold and the red. Uh, 2019 um, Stadium Club Lone Star autograph numbered out of 10. Uh, 99 Dim Diamond Destiny upper deck. This is the silver variation. I have the bronze, picked up the silver. And I just got to go out and find the gold. 
Uh, 96, this is the Sports Channel, Pacific Sports Channel. Uh, hard card to come by. 93 uh, Pinnacle Dufex in a PSA 8. This will get broken out of the out of the uh, slab, put into the into the binder. 94 Collector's Choice Gold Signature. This is also a very hard one to find. Um, it is a PSA 8. It'll get broke out of the slab as well. And then we get to the final cards here. These are the Starline promos. So each each uh, store or fast food place had a Starline promo. They're all done by Coke, but this is the 7-Eleven uh, promo. We've got the Burger King. We've got the Domino's Pizza. McDonald's. And then actually that one is the Coca-Cola one. And then this is the actual promo card itself for the Star Lines. And then we have the uh, 97 Upper Deck Power Player uh, Jumbo. I'll take this out of the screw down and put it in a, in a sleeve. And then the very last item is the uh, 97... Uh, Zenith 8x10. This is the just the standard 8x10 picture. Uh, I have a couple copies of the Dufex. One right here. Uh, but I was able to add the, the standard, the base, regular edition, 5x7. Really sharp. So... So guys, that's all I got today. Just wanted to go through, show you guys what I'd picked up. Um, hoping to be able to add some more stuff you know, here in the upcoming months. But I'll keep you guys posted as I do pick up a few more things and show them off to you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment, tell me what you guys think. And hopefully by the next video we'll be we'll be talking about you know card number thirty six hundred. So that's all I got guys. We'll talk to you later.